Data-driven engineering is an important concept in modern engineering practice. It involves the use of data to drive decision-making and make engineering choices that are more informed and accurate. These tutorials provide an overview of data-driven engineering file access and how it is used to make better decisions. Data-driven engineering file access is the use of data to drive decision-making and make engineering choices that are based on data. It involves the use of data sources such as databases, file systems, and other data sources to access and analyze data. The data-driven engineering file access process generally consists of three steps. The first is collecting the data, second analyzing the data, data, and then making decisions based on the data. We're going to cover the aspects of collecting the data. The first step in data-driven engineering file access process is to collect the data. This step involves gathering and storing data from various sources. This could include databases, file systems, and other data sources. The data should be collected in a way that is organized and easy to access. There are many different types of data formats that are imported and analyzed in data-driven engineering. Text files with comma-separated values, or CSVs, are generated from an OBD2 connection to a vehicle electronic control module. Many microphones detect small changes in the air pressure at 48 kilohertz to convert sound into an electronic signal. Electro-optical sensors convert light into an electronic signal that is stored in a video file. Each file is a repository of information. A database is another collection of information that is built to allow data access with reading and writing to the storage. Cloud storage is similar to local access, but the information is more broadly accessible to any device that has an internet connection. Each of these data access formats requires special consideration to read and extract information. This section is an overview of each data storage mechanism with examples to demonstrate data import, analysis, and export. The objective is to refine the information to extract useful information from data. The data access modules reviewed in this section are text, audio, video, database, sensors, and cloud and finally web scraping. There are additional methods for extracting data from documents such as reading tables from PDF documents, importing tables from spreadsheet files, or reading values from legacy charts or proprietary file formats. Hope you enjoy this module on importing data and the following one is going to be on how to transfer data with Modbus MQTT OPC UA and WebSockets. Then we'll go on to time series and then a number of applications.